All right, you guys, quick update. That's pretty sweet looking. I got some new floating plants in, um, and I think this duckweed's a little hardier than the other stuff. That and it's not as cold. Got That's a whole bunch of hornwort down there in the water. That stuff's great. Uh, my old stuff's still not looking that great, but I'm sure it'll survive, or at least some of it will. Uh, a couple new things. I finally finished this guy right here. The, um, the overflow. All right, I didn't get to show, show you this in the last video. There's the overflow, uh, the strainer to try to keep the floating plants in. And then down here, I ended up having to go with brass adapters because I wanted to put a check valve in, not check valve, um, a stopper, I guess is another thing they call it. Anyway, I wanted to put one in. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever need it, but I got to thinking it might be an easy way to, to seal up the tank from the, from the side for the summer. So still, you know, I've been to Home Depot twice because they didn't have the plastic versions they had of those adapters um, weren't big enough on the barbed ends. So, uh, and, and of course they didn't have plastic in the, in the five eights that were big enough. So I ha had to get, um, whatever that's called. I said it earlier. Uh, but, you know, I've been to Home Depot twice and still haven't gotten a bigger bucket. That's okay. I think I might have something hanging around. Last time I talked about, while it was raining, I talked about these tubes over here. And I actually did go ahead and get a filter hooked up. This might be a little bit overdoing it. It's definitely not uh, Al Natural anymore. But, um, you know, I kind of like to be able to see at least a little bit. See, it, there's still a good algae green water effect going on there but i can see kind of uh that sound that you hear it making and puffing out all that oxygen um that's one of the issues with this with this uh canister filter and one of the reasons why i didn't like it for my aquarium it doesn't seem like it'd be a big deal but it does end up being that so i figured being outside, I don't have to worry about getting it fixed or anything. I can just let it do its thing out here where it's not bothering anyone. So, all right, one more thing to show you. I got a pothos plant and I hung it above. So hopefully that thing will go nuts. And eventually I'm probably gonna break off some of that pothos and plant, plant it in the water uh, to let it roots hang down and suck out the nitrates that's really good for that kind of thing so i'm just gonna let that thing go i got this going on that going on all the other stuff but yeah i'm happy with it hopefully this is about the last of it um i do need to make some kind of cover still but i'm not too worried about that yet all right peace out